I'll hear about it if I don't record. Okay. So we are doing the post illness recuperative digestive tract <laughs> session. Um, okay. Um, actually, let's get our, our ball, if you don't mind. Sorry. <clears throat> And we are, we are going to deflate our ball a little bit. You don't have to make it super smushed. We just take a little air out. We just don't want it totally full. So mine's like that. Okay, we're going to uh, make sure our footwear is up on the top. We're going to do red and two blue. And uh, once we lay down, we're going to put the ball underneath our sacrum. Headrest can be up or down. So our sacrum is floating. We want to make sure is that you're not imprinting. Or do you find that neutral again? So heavy sacrum on the ball. Let's do heels on the foot bar. Find that balance and geometry of the shoulders against the shoulder blocks. You can feel if you're uneven. Flexing through the feet. And let's take the courage out. So it's not a hugely heavy spring load. We're focusing on our pelvic alignment, facing that far wall, and loading the sacrum. Press the back bra lines and the shoulders into the uh, carriage. So engaging the booty, squeezing through the booty, narrowing through the sit bones. Do four. Three. And last one, let's bring the carriage halfway in. One foot at a time, step to the center of the foot bar, bring your ankles and knees together. Reflex through the feet. Stabilize your sacrum and out and in there. Before. So it's going to carriage halfway in. Extra leg rotates so we're in our narrow V. Reset the ribs, shoulders, lengthen through the neck, and in and out. Four more. And left extension, and let's bring it in. And I will just make a comment if you feel like the springs are not heavy enough, um, you can choose to load up. Just having been sick, I'm probably going lighter than I normally would. Let's come back, parallel ankles and knees together. We're going to do the same motion, but single leg march. So pushing into one leg, doesn't really matter where you start. Making sure your pelvic floor is still facing that far wall. Ribs press down. And before the carriage crashes in, that foot meets up with the other <clears throat> knees and ankles aligned. Do two more each side, finishing evenly. And bring it in. Narrow V. Readjust so your pelvis is facing the foot bar. And out, sorry, marching in a narrow V. You want your heels to come back together, squeezing all the way straight leg. 
Make sure that bent knee doesn't collapse into your chest, but you have a nice tabletop alignment of the knee over the hip. Do two more each side. Last one. <clears throat> and let's bring it in. All right, let's go back parallel. Last thing here. Start with your right leg tabletop, left foot's on the foot bar, flex through the left uh, foot. As we press the carriage out, single leg, we we'll reach up scissor, reaching through that leg. Staying in that extension, reach to 45 and up. And let's flex up in scissor, point to 45, four, Three, check your pelvic alignment. Two. And last one. Bring it in. Awesome. <clears throat> Other side. Tabletop. Pelvis is facing the foot bar. So reach. Sweep that leg forward. <clears throat> and then flex up. Four more. Yeah, let's put it in. Awesome. Hey, lift the booty up, take the ball away. Let's come <clears throat> wide stands, heels still on the foot bar. Find your neutral. This is where especially you can feel if you're tumbling into your lower back, keep it in that neutral and let's take it out. And in, breathing, exhale out. Three, two, last one. <clears throat> Good, bring the carriage halfway in. Slide your hand under so you're only lifted in that neutral, about an inch off the carriage and out and in there. Feeling the lengthening of the legs all the way up to the waistline. Shoulders down, neck is long. Four more. Three. Bring your carriage halfway in, sacrum down, find your neutral, internally rotate. Take the carriage out, internally rotated, external to bring it in. So internal hip circles. Three. Two. The last one. We're going to reverse. Come in, internally rotated, external to push out. Keeping that neutral lower back, keeping the booty engaged then. Four. And last one. And let's bring it in. Good. You go rock back and forth, knees to the chest. Walk your shoulders to back down away from the shoulder blocks. Let's come on to the balls of the feet. Let's do ankles and knees squeeze together. Lift the heels high. Find your neutral before you push out, pushing through the big toes. Inner ankle, inner thigh, pelvic floor. Booty stays engaged. Four, three, adding the heels in, take the carriage out, lower and raise the heels. 
sticky feet. As you lower and raise the heels, now pull the carriage in. As you resist, pull the carriage in. Three. Two. And last one, let's meet over the carriage all the way out. Six heel dips. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Last two. And heels high and hands back. I like to pick a heel and just hang out there for a second. And switch. And soften to the stretch. And lifting both heels and bring it in. Good, stay on the ball to the feet. External rotation, I'm just gonna make some temperature adjustments here. Lift the heels high, squeeze them together, then take the carriage out and in. Keeping that neutral lower back, sacrum is anchored, heels stay squeezed together. Using the breath. Do three more. And take the courage out. We're going to add the heels in. One dip, lift, resist, and pull the courage in. Two more. And let's take the courage out. Six heel dips and lifts. Three, two, heels high, and let's walk it out. We pick a heel and hang out. And other side. And lift both heels and lift from the carriage in. Good. Last configuration wide stance, externally rotated. Make sure you can feel all 10 toes on the foot bar, but we're going to press your big toes as you lift the heels high. The carriage out. Make sure your lower back is neutral, sacrum is anchored, pelvic floor is facing the foot bar. Good. Do three more. Booties engaged. Two. The last extension, bring the carriage halfway in. Same as on our heels, we're gonna lift our sacrum off just the height of our hand, no C curve, keeping neutral, taking it out and in. If you find it too much either in the hamstrings or your lower back, bring your sacrum back down to the carriage. Three, two, and last one. And the carriage halfway in. Lower the sacrum, take the, the carriage all the way out, and double push prance of the heels. Go heel high, and let's bring it in. Knees to the chest. Take a little rock back and forth as you walk your shoulders a little bit away from the shoulder blocks as well. Take our headrest down. 
two flat. Hands are behind the shoulder blocks. Bring our legs to tabletop. You're going to imprint now. Once you imprint, feel your knees lift toward the sky. Lengthen through the neck, shoulders down, holding that imprint, holding that lightening of the tailbone feeling. Exhale and extend to 45. Come back to tabletop. Notice if when you extend, you hold your breath or you grip onto the shoulder blocks. Try to put the work in the abdominals. Take it out of the other body parts that are compensating. Three. Two. One, legs come tabletop, reach your arms forward, pull your fingertips toward your foot bar, imprint your belly, imprint your lower back, chin is holding on to that imaginary tennis ball. As our legs open up 45, our arms and our upper body extend toward the back wall. Back in. Three, breathing, breathing, keeping that light tailbone feeling. Last one, let's meet up and pull. Would that be for six, five, four, three, two, and one? Breathing, ready. Head rest is still down, holding on to the back of the shoulder blocks again, or your arms can be here, whichever you prefer. Come back, tabletop. We're going to do little rolls of the lower abdominals and the lower back. Lifting up and off, placing the vertebra back down. Lifting up and over, whatever range of motion is available to you. Focusing on using the lower abdominals. Squeeze the knees together to get the inner thigh pelvic floor engagement. Look time. Let's roll down, extend to 45. Tabletop up and over. Extend to 45. Last time like this, and we add on. Extend to 45, stay straight legs. Up and over. Open your heels, hip distance, flex the feet, and create that resistance as you roll down. Opening 45 degrees. That's, you know, up and over. Soften through the shoulders, lengthen through the neck, take the tension out of the upper body. Good. We're going to lift it up and over this time. Swivel your legs toward your right shoulder and roll down on the muscles. To the right side of your spine, just like we do when we're on the springboard. Scoot down, come to the middle, look up to the left side. Roll down the left side of your back. Circle in the middle, come up to the right. Last time you're through, the left. And rolling down. I'm going to come through the middle and knees to the chest. Fill your upper body up. Lengthen the legs 90 degrees, arms reach forward. We'll pull, pull, pull. Imprint the lower back, belly button pulls down. Your gaze is right through the middle of your thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Okay, okay. we're going to roll to the side. Come on. Okay. 
Let's go to a red spray. Scooch our booty all the way to the edge of the front edge of the carriage. Narrow the feet around the foot bar. Let's bring the carriage in. Hands are on the shoulder blocks. Open into an arch. Don't hurl your chin back here. Lift as if your sternum is trying to lift diagonally into the sky. Close your ribs, shoulders down. Try to push into the shoulder blocks. Push your shoulders down away from your ears. Good, let's take the bridge all the way out. Holding on to the front edge of the carriage. Heels together, narrow V, lift them high, kind of pull in. Now pull your belly button back as you scoop and round forward. Exhale, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the legs. Hollow out, scoop round. The time. Round scoop. We're going to stay rounded and scooped as we go out and in, deepening that scoop through the motion. Let's add the heels. Move all the way out, heels down and up. Connect your heels with your belly button. Three, two, Last one, so let's bring it in. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, arms in foot and foot position. We're gonna take it out as we squat. Getting taller. Heels. Spiral, heels down and up, pull that carriage in. Open, heels down and up, one more time like that. Beautiful, now let's bring it in, holding on to the outside of the foot bar with your hands, the inside with your feet. You can push back, trying to straighten through the legs. Good length to the lower back, shoulders pull down. And release the heels under the foot bar. Parallel, heels underneath the foot bar. Now let's do a little walkabout. One knee bends and the other, just trying to get a little bit more extension to heel under the foot bar as you get extension through the lower back, pulling in opposition against the foot bar. Good, both heels high. One last lengthen through the upper body, belly button pulls in, and let's go and bring on. Good, okay. Mountains out there today. Um, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember what you guys asked to do. Okay. Let's take our foot bar all the way down. One yellow spring. Start with our feet on the platform, parallel, just about that uh, fist distance apart. Start our elbows, so our hands, palm of our hands are against the shoulder blocks. Let's do three different sets here. So this is set number one, version number one. We shout to plank. All right. Scoop up in the belly, squeeze the booty, close your ribs, and push the carriage as far forward as you can support without collapsing. 
So stay lifted. Even if you're a little lift, more lifted than you would normally be in plank, you want to feel the stress on that plank as you push the carriage out. The belly button up, close your ribs. Lift up in the armpit as you press the shoulders down. Four. Three. Two. Last one, pull the shoulders or the elbows directly under the shoulders, pull that plank. Find your big toes and pull the carriage in and out. Not a big range of motion. So your tailbone stays the same height. Just pushing and pulling the carriage in. Four. Three. Two. And last one, let's come into plank and hold that nice long plank for eight, seven, six, buttons up, all this is tucked, pressing on the big toes, last three, last two, and look. And Take a little upper body extension, release any tension. Okay. We got a one blue spring. Same position. Do flat hand, forefinger and thumb on either side. Elbows down. Let's press out into plank. Hold that plank. Lift up in the chest. Fill out the shoulder blades. Scoop out the armpits so you feel under the armpits and the obliques engage. A nice deep breath in. Now we're going to pull into the pike headstand and push out in the plank. Reset that plank each time. Four. Three. In, tabletop, take your left knee with you as you take it out. Come back. Take your right knee with you. Times each side. Belly button's lifted. Now let's push out the plank. Hold it four, hold it three, two, and one. Okay, that was set number two. Take an upper body extension. You know, platform. We're going to go extended arm and walk my hands back to the middle of the carriage. I'm spreading my fingers. Whatever works for you. Wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Pushing out. Spine or plank. Back. Let's start with our pike, tailbone lifts, bring carriage all the way to tap the bumper lightly, push all the way out to your plank. Good. 
three more, and we'll end back with this too. So in the middle, we're gonna do some other stuff. Two. Last one. It's made up in plank. Set that plank, belly button's up. Alternate shoulder taps. Three. Two. On each side, good. Reset that plank, scoop out the armpits, take the carriage forward here, pull it in. Five, four, three, plank, finish off. Five planks, full pike, full plank. Three more. Long neck, shoulders down. I think this is the last one. Let's meet up here, hold it eight, seven. Six, last three, two, and one. Walk our knees forward to the shoulder blocks, hands on the rails. Take a big upper body extension stretch. We'll come back, so your wrists are far forward of your shoulders, right? Lift up, finish in that arm up. Shoulders down, belly's in, upper body. So nothing in your lower body moves. Pull the crown of the head forward. And scooping out the armpits, engaging your obliques. Four. Three, two, depends where they are, the carriage comes all the way back, so it's just up in kitty cat. Sit your hips back, and now let's do the abdominal version. We'll tuck. Always, if you don't feel your abdominals working, you're definitely not working. So reset into kitty cat, sit the hips back. Hands. Knuckles down toward the uh, carriage, squeeze your palms together, lengthen your palms toward the carriage as you just open your chest. Lift the heel of the hand high as you lower your gaze. Let's do a little upper body theme. So we're gonna stand a blue spring, come into our A-frame stance. So my left knee is right up against the shoulder block. Knees are wider than the hips. Engaging the booty. Okay. <clears throat> my left knee is here, but my right hand is taking the strap. My left hand goes on top of the shoulder block. I'm going to open and frame my face, looking directly forward to start. Push your pelvic bone forward. So as if there's a two panes of glass that you're trying to slide between. Ooh, a cramp in my hip. Now rotate your gaze down toward your left hand and take that full 
extension in the left arm, I mean, the right arm, sorry. Keep pushing your pelvis forward. The tendency is to sit back. Three. Two. Last one, good. Keep that arm straight as you open it to the far wall, push your pelvis forward. Take that open arc extension. And bend forward, come out of it. Good, stay crossed, square your shoulders, square your hips and shoulders, and Sidearm extension. You have the option of going to a yellow spring or going to the inside loop for tension. Three. Two. One, let's bring it in, switch. So now my left hand is in the long loop. Bring your, your elbow to your rib. First, just rotator cuff, easy. Keep that shoulder open. Four, two, oh, three, sorry. Two, one, good, come back. Open right angle, you're gonna lift into a bicep, up and over into a shot put. Come back in. Belly's in. Lifting in the chest as you round to the upper back. Three. Two. Before I go to the other side, I just have to pause just for one minute. Okay, back at it. Other side. Let's come into our A frame. My right side there. So my left hand is going to take the long black loop. Square off the hips, we're gonna open. Hand is on the shoulder block. Push the pelvic bone forward and frame your face. Then look down at the hand and reaching to your palm. Your fist is open to the far wall, extending through that arm. Three more. Sure, you're not starting to sit back. Two. And now keep that arm straight as you go into a full side arch extension. Try and release the carriage in as you reach your fingertips to the far wall. Keeping the loop in your left hand, engaging the booty, opening to the side, squaring the shoulders, squaring the hips. Hands square the shoulders, rotator cuff, just crossing the body, pulling that elbow right up against the ribs. Keep that shoulder open, even as the arm crosses the body. Four, three, booty's engaged. And we're gonna 
open, release the rib, the elbow from the ribs, bicep curl in, up and over, shut the knee. And start sitting into your hips. Stay on a blue spring. We're going to get our box. Okay, need a little back work. Laying in bed. We got that much fun laying in bed after about two days. Okay. Right. Come onto our belly. Takes us toward the shoulder blocks. Bra oh, line right up against the edge of the box. Extending our legs straight. So mine are externally rotated a little bit. Put your hands far forward. Open your palms. Tuck your pelvic bone into the box. Lift your belly. Squeeze and lengthen through your legs. You don't have to do big hurl lifts, but squeeze and lengthen. Keep your legs lengthened. Heels lifted where they are just now. As you press the palms into the rails, as you arc the upper body up, we're not, well, we'll just lie. We're not pulling the carriage forward. We're sliding our palms on the rails. And then back down. And again, just slide your palms toward your shoulders, putting that upper body arc. Now, hold on to the rails. We are going to pull the carriage forward as we come into that upper body arc. No chin curling. Release as you come in and tuck the pelvis, lift the belly, squeeze the butt, squeeze your legs and arms. Stay long and straight as you pull the carriage forward. Two more. And the last one. And down. Good. A little break. All right. Let's take the loops off the pegs. Walk your hands forward of the hardware. All right. Arms are long and straight. Adding on to that motion. We're going to sweep the heels of the hands alongside our hip. The heels of the hand are facing the ceiling. We're going to tuck our pelvis, lift our belly, squeeze our booty, squeeze through our legs, and we're going to bend through the knees, lifting our thighs off the box ever so slightly, coming back into extension. Hands a little farther forward. Straight. Keep your belly button lifted. Sweep the booty. Heel and big toes come together. As you try and lift your thighs, if not off the box, light and load. And open for the sternum. As you widen through the shoulder blades, a few more. Chin. Put your pelvis up the belly, lift your toes up to the sky, up to the sky, up to the sky. Five, four, three, two, and one. And pull it back down. Okay. 
ourselves up. Put on the box. Put toward the back edge. And let's come into a little butterfly on the top of our box. Push the heels to the very front edge. Put your booty to the back edge. Pull the belly button in and dolphin dive forward. It up like a chariot. Look up in front of that hardware. Start to roll in straight. Plant your feet on your foot on your head rest. Good. Roll back into C curve. Feel the C curve laying each vertebra down. Here and we'll add on. Good. Let's lift our left knee tabletop. As we roll back in C curve, let's hold it there. Hold C curve. Without doing a backward somersault, we're going to raise our leg to 90, extend 45 three more times. Holding, deepening that C curve. That's the grip. Roll back. Roll back. Hold that C curve. Deepen it as that leg comes. Plant the opposite foot firmly on the headrest. And tall, stay nice and soft. Roll along, left knee on tabletop. Kind of pull your forehead for your knee each time, right? Three, two, Going to do an add on to that. I am not sure I personally am strong enough for it right now. I'll show you guys so you can. Make sure you're sure of your speaker. Left knee, tabletop. Exhale, roll down. C curve. I mean, sorry, left leg 90 degrees. Right 45. Hold that C curve, soft grip, scissor, scissor, forehead reaches to your knee. Three, two, left one, plant that right foot, bend that left knee, and bring it up. <laughs> Side, not that we didn't do both sides. Maybe I'll set you guys up and you do it. Right knee, roll back. 90, 45, and switch, switch. C curve, forehead to knee, four, three, two, left one, plant that left foot. Right knee bends and bring it up. 
Let's go back on. Open our our feet wide on the rails. And just take a forward fold, releasing to the lower back. Feet parallel, left hand to the outside of the right knee, right hand on the box, let's take a spiral. Don't let that left knee cave in. Reach down, neck is long, keep even weight on those sit bones. Let's switch. Our box off. Um, come so far back up. Go to a yellow spring, take the blue off, yellow spring on. Standing in the middle of the carriage, so we don't pull in your foot bar. Palms of the hands press into the foot bar as your sit bones reach to the back wall. Sacrum, tail feathers, reach to the sky. Left table top back, wrists are directly uh, extending from the shoulders. Our weight is still back in our haunches. Yeah, lift your belly up, shoulders down, neck is long. Kind of float our left leg, just arabesque. Okay, not whoopee, just parallel to the ground. Take that carriage out. Half by crossing. Float, bring that carriage in. Exhale. We have two add ons to this. Keeping your shoulders behind your ribs so you keep weight back in your hips, not working right. Good, let's meet up. Wrap that left leg over the right. Squeeze the inner thigh, the leg carriage in and out. Squaring the hips. In the belly. Three. Two. Last one, meet up here, take that left knee out and leave it forward. Running man, as that carriage comes back, no collapsing in the hips. Look along, shoulders down. Three. Two. One, Good. hold it there, lengthen through that right leg again, back to that arabesque, bring the carriage all the way in. Now, take a forward fold, single leg extension, don't open in the hip, square your hips. Pushing into your foot bar versus holding on, and push your upper, back up, or upper body up. Float that leg down. Okay, let's reset. Chin back into our hips, shoulders down. Shoulders are behind the wrist, but the wrists extend directly in front of the shoulders. Float that right leg up. It's in the belly, square the hip, make sure you don't open up in that hip. Shout to a plank, wrapping that right leg.
crisscrossed, crisscrossed. Well, the iron is that imaginary nickel between your thighs. Four. Let's pull in. Bring that right knee up. Lift it as you go into running man. Make sure you're not starting to push forward the top of your wrist. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring through that left leg, pull the carriage in, pressing into the foot bar. Take a single leg pulled over. Let's float the leg back down. One last time, pressing our tail feathers to the sky. The knees, let's step up. Move to the red spring. Stay right here. I'm standing on my left foot outside of the machine. So align your standing foot, or you can just stand upright. The inside of the calf is right up against the frame for stability. Ooh, a little bigger. Okay, we're gonna push back into a lunge, hold that lunge. Back leg stays off the carriage. Then and reach, then and reach, then and reach. Eight. Seven, six, five. Push back to come all the way up standing without letting the carriage catapult you. So open up and in. Four. And let's meet up here. Hands come to the inside of the foot bar. Now soften that leg down. Walk that left leg forward. Position. That supporting leg right up against the frame. And then knee. Now let's push all the way up. Coming into that lunge, but keeping back leg straight. We bend and reach, bend and reach. Eight. Seven, ribs are in, belly's in, shoulders down, neck is long, gaze to the diagonal. Three, two, one. Good. We're going to come all the way up, controlling that carriage and pushing back. Going as low as you can. Do four more. The temptation is just let the spring and the carriage in. Get up, push it out there. Back leg lengthens down, walk your front leg forward.
O to um, two yellow spring. We're in long loops. We're laying on our back. Down. We have forty five degrees. Narrow V, little half froggy in, watching that you don't drop into your lower back. Flex as you come in, points as you go out, pedaling through the feet. Shoulders are soft. Let's go into full froggy from here. <clears throat> Open to the second position, plie, heels together. Very important here also to not drop in your lower back. I'm doing the work on the base of the booty. Four. Also pedaling the feet in alignment. We got full extension. Last one. So let's meet up 45 degrees, just opening to the bottom and, and that V and closing. Open V, staying externally rotated. Focus on not just the inner thigh, but the sit bones narrowing. So think more about the glute engagement. And this time adding on, open to your V, second position plie, bring it in, heels come together, tap, tap, open, plie, lengthen, tap, tap, open, plie, lengthen, tap, tap, four more, plie, lengthen, tap, tap, three, two, Last one. Good. And let's reverse. Come in narrow. Open to that V and close. Drawing big circles with the heels. Do four. Three. Two. And then last one, awesome. 45 degrees parallel. Take hold of that right leg, draw it in. Lowering the left leg as if you're standing on the foot bar. Drop that hip, drop the hip of the right leg. So bring the hip away from the rib cage. And let's switch. Floating the right leg down, put the left leg up. <clears throat> Try not to tumble into your lower back. Let's <clears throat> float down both legs. Meet up 45 degrees. Externally rotate and start circles there. do what I just did. Mm 
Take from anchor, notice if you roll into your lower back. You're working from that glute coming through the insertion. Think up 90 degrees, externally rotated. Heels together, just down and up, 45 to 90. Outside hip, outside thigh. So we're just going to do that little half froggy. Three degrees. Without tumbling into your lower back. A little ceiling lift. Push it down. Half froggy. Ceiling away. And then let's start circle to the top, closing at bottom. Flex your both feet. Tipping your pelvis to face that far wall as if you're touching your back. And then put through the hamstring. For extended feet, flexing it through the feet. Keep your pelvis facing that far wall, not tumbling into the lower back. Back to 90. Back the lower back and pelvis and back into that extended D. Butterfly. Pull your heel closer to your pelvis. Let's see if you can release the support. Your legs get and use the cables to support. Mm -hmm. 